I, I hope you're holding up with me. We are kind of going in a very, very quick pace. Quest number three is ISA deviation is plus 30 degrees Celsius, pressure altitude 5000 feet, what is true altitude? Now this is one type of question which I make my MET students kind of dwell around and do it even though it's not really asked for MET exams uh, because you need some, some kind of a paper and pen to kind of probably sometimes uh, get the answer done. You can also uh, impose the trial and error uh, with the options that also kind of drive the answer uh, but this do appear for the NAV exams. And now this question is particularly interesting for me because of the fact that you can do this question in two different ways. Let's go to the very first method. This is method number one. Now, again, as I, as I always say, if you are aware of how to do it in both the methods, take a pause of this video and kind of do it yourself and come back and see uh, what the answer is, right? So ISA deviation is plus 30 degrees Celsius. I hope you know the basic understanding of ISA deviation. Let's dig into that first. So ISA deviation is, so we have, you know, the aircrafts are calibrated and kind of schooled uh, to follow the ISA uh, values up to 32 kilometers. Now, and we also know that the practical day is kind of definitely different from the ISA day. So how much does the, the real atmosphere, the practical day deviates from the ISA day is what is termed as the ISA deviation. So when we say ISA deviation is plus 30 degrees Celsius, that particular day is 30 degrees Celsius warmer. So this particular plus indicates that the day is warmer than what the aircraft has been told. Right, that is what is called as ISA deviation, and we have an equation for ISA deviation. Another equation which students do make a mistake, especially for your MET sessions here. So ISA deviation is uh, mainly for temperature. We do have it for pressure as well. So it's T actual minus T ISA, not the other way around. I don't even want to say that out because I don't want that to be kind of into your head. Uh, at least for a second so it's t actual minus tisa not the other way around but anyways it's plus 30 degrees celsius now it tells me that the aircraft is kind of in a warmer environment a warmer air column right pressure altitude is 5000 feet what is the true altitude now actually speaking you can do this question in three different ways so let's look at all three ways then right this is the first method right here now perfect now isa deviation is plus 30 degrees celsius and you have the pressure altitude as say 5000 feet right and we know that uh, when the aircraft deviates from the isa value you get something called as the uh, the pressure error or temperature error so in this case we have the temperature error obviously uh, and uh, what we need to do is something called as an altimeter correction so altimeter correction for temperature is as you know so, so do you know what the altimeter correction for temperature is uh, it's uh, quite uh, common that you kind of skip that for MET, but you kind of have to know that for uh, for NAV because they have asked theoretical questions based on that. The problems are quite fine because you have to see X-ray with you, right? So that is this correction is what is called as an alt core. If you go to your uh, Captain IC Joshi textbook, you can see the same term there. It's also called as a D value, the other way of alt core. So alt core or altimeter correction is for four feet uh, per thousand feet of altitude with respect to what is there on the altimeter setting subscale of the altimeter for every isa deviation right which means for every thousand feet you have to kind of uh, include a correction of four feet for every isa deviation uh, look at uh, this particular question your pressure altitude is five thousand feet four feet per thousand feet therefore for five thousand feet it's going to be 20 feet right and that is for per degree celsius isa deviation and we have plus 30 degree celsius of isa deviation remember in this case the sign doesn't really matter the value 30 is the one what is significant so 20 feet of altitude correction for every uh, IS degree celsius of isa deviation for 30 degree celsius it's going to be 20 into into 30 which is Six hundred feet of correction. Right now, we can see that the atmosphere here is actually warmer than ISA, which means the aircraft is kind of on the higher environment here. Which means the aircraft is moved from lower to the higher environment, and therefore the altimeter is going to read low, which is what is called as underreading. Now, what's the meaning of underreading? Underreading means your indicated altitude, the altitude that the altimeter tells you, which is less than the true altitude, the actual altitude of the aircraft above mean sea level. That is what is called as true altitude, right? It's 
a very common mistake in understanding that true altitude is the altitude above the ground. No, it's not. It's above the mean sea level. A true height is the actual height above the uh, ground. All right, perfect. So this means that given the indicator altitude, uh, if I want to find true altitude, I probably have to add whatever correction I need to. And the correction is 600 feet. And what is the indicator altitude? Indicator altitude is the altitude that is indicated by the altimeter and what is read by the pilot, which is the pressure altitude of 5000 feet. And I, and I believe you know pressure altitude is an altitude read by the altimeter with respect to uh, 1013.2 hectopascals if it is set on the altimeter subscale. So basically, your indicator altitude is 5000 feet which is your pressure altitude and having understood the fact that the ultimate is under reading which means your indicator altitude is less than a true altitude your true altitude is going to be more than indicator altitude by a factor of altitude and we have found out the altitude uh, to be 600 feet perfect therefore it is going to be 5000 feet plus 600 feet which is 5600 feet my bad it is 5600 feet that is how you call out altitude so true altitude is 5600 feet perfect so that's right here which is bravo one of the methods by which you can kind of uh, reach the answer right Method two is by using an equation now i'll completely leave this method for you i'm not a big fan of this method because as such i'm not a big fan of equations here but if you know the equations drop it down in the chat and let others see and kind of replicate it but uh, you can kind of follow the method one which i have kind of used here uh, it's pretty uh, simple it's pretty understandable you kind of understand through as you do the questions now method two which i'm going to tell you is uh, not the equation method i'm going to tell you it's more like logical and this might not kind of give you exact a particular option it might give you like two options and kind of help you take all of the two or sometimes it can even give you the pinpoint answer as well but this is again more like an understanding point of view but think about it you are actually flying in the atmosphere at where temperature is actually more than isa all right perfect now the the problem with this kind of atmosphere is it's more like a warmer air column that's why the isa deviation is plus 30 degrees celsius and from your met knowledge uh, you know that um, in a warmer air column any given pressure level will be found at a higher level than the isa which simply means that if i draw a warmer air column uh, i have a, so i have a pretty much of a great explanation on this uh, in my met lectures so you can probably have a look at that uh, in your time right so i'm talking about uh, three different uh, cylinders here basically and the first one is kind of isa and then you have a colder cylinder right here which is a colder air column and then we have a warmer cylinder which is more like a warmer air column I'm not going into details of this cylindrical expl this explanation with the help of cylinders on how the uh, the altitude varies with uh, temperatures uh, but just to give you a small idea about it uh, any given pressure level so if i draw a pressure level straight here which is right here if i want the same pressure level in a warmer air column i probably have to search for it above right so say for example if it is a pressure level of 300 hectopascals isa level we know that it is found at 30,000 feet but in a warmer air column the same 300 hectopascal will be found at an altitude which is more than 30,000 feet and similarly in a colder air column if i'm looking for the same 300 hectopascals i have to probably look for that at a lesser altitude so 300 hectopascal in a cold air column will be found at an altitude which is lesser than 30,000 feet. Perfect. Now having this understanding and uh, also understanding the fact that you are currently flying in a warmer air column, ISA deviation being plus 30 degrees Celsius, your pressure altitude of 5,000 feet will be actually found at a height, at a true altitude of, uh, of more than 5,000 feet. All right, which means look at the options here you have option alpha and you have option charlie which are kind of less than 5000 feet and therefore we can completely take it off and what remains is 5600 feet and 5320 feet right so this will not probably help you to get the answer straight but definitely will make you understand that alpha and charlie are not the answers and then you can kind of apply method one or the equation which i told you again drop that down in the chat if you know about it uh, which you can use to kind of find the true altitude all right perfect 
That's it, and reclusions. Let's go to quest number four. All right, so it's again seven o'clock, seven seven fifteen. So I will kind of leave you for the moment. Um, I don't want to really crush your attention span. When we come back after five minutes break, we will definitely go with the uh, fourth quest, and it's kind of a mix. So don't expect the questions to be in line with what we just did. It could be from any any given topic. All right, perfect. That's that's it. I will see you after the break.